This video is not financial advice. I am not a financial planner. I am an entertainer. The one and only eight father in the house. Wow! Might as well stay up, right? Pre-market's about to start. Um, let me go sit in my recliner and talk to you. So, I've been watching a lot of uh, other uh, YouTubers regarding, you know, Adam, you know, uh, Aaron's uh, move into the gold industry. What is it? The uh, Highcroft. <clears throat> I'm just going to tell you my feelings on it, okay? I, I see there's a lot of mixed emotions out there. I see there's people who love it. They think it's a great idea. They think it's a great investment. It's a great hedge in, 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 in the event of a stock market crash. And um, other people think it's idiotic. And other people are just shocked by it. They have no idea why he did it. I'm going to tell you my feelings on it, okay? I don't believe Adam, Aaron, and I'm not trying to cause FUD, man, but... It just seems like he doesn't have a lot of confidence in AMC. I mean, listen, I'm just telling you my opinion, and it really freaking bothers me. It freaking bothers me. You know, this whole thing bothers me. I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm really upset with just, I'm just upset with everything, with everything that this guy has been doing. And I'm, I'm upset how we saved his company. You know, his, his shares were worth nothing. His company was on the verge of bankruptcy. Because of the AMC apes, because of the retail investors, we helped him bring his company up to such highs that were incredible. 73. He winded up selling his shares, I believe, even at those high levels, I think a portion in the 70s. I know he sold in the 30s and the 40s as well. You know, he cashed himself out very, very nice, 25 million plus. And um, AMC has a war chest because of us, $2 billion. His company was on the verge of bankruptcy. We saved him, okay? Now, as of today, the company is in the $14 range. We touched as low as uh, yesterday, 13 I think it was like thir low 13 range, $13.18. And it's like, you know, a lot of us are down significant amount, amount of money, like including myself, because I bought at a high range. I bought ABC around 53 So what I want to see right now is... Adam doing things to make AMC, okay, not only compete, okay, with the current, you know, uh, competition, which I feel the competition is not really the movie theaters. Like, look, I agree with him, movie theaters in general. I mean, listen, it's kind of like old fashioned. I don't get me wrong. You're never going to replace the excitement and the experience of going to a movie theater. But it's, it's out, let's be honest, it's outdated. I mean, with technology today, you could sit at your house. And everything is streaming. I really think he needs to go that direction. And, you know, he should be putting his money, in my opinion, in making AMC a major competitor of, like, Netflix. A major competitor of Disney. That's where I think that he will take this co company to amazing heights. But, like, he goes, he's always diversifying in things that I feel like have nothing to do with AMC's future. Like what is gold? Let's be honest. Can we be honest with each other? What does gold have to do with AMC? Nothing. There's no connection. Like, listen, I understand you're going to, some people are going to hate me. They're going to be upset at me. They're going to say, you know, this is smart. It's a hedge. You get to stock market crap. But that's not the point I'm making. The point is what does it have to do with AMC? What does it have to do with movies? What does it have to do with streaming? It has nothing like nothing. The guy could have like invested, you know, in Tesla, you know, he could, you know, listen, right. If it's just a matter of making a good investment, you know, he see, he loves Elon Musk, you know, Adam, uh, Aaron invest in Tesla, throw, throw, throw like a billion dollars in Tesla, right. The electro, uh, electro, electronic cars of the future, right. One second. I'm sorry. I just, I'm getting calls from people at all hours of the night. It's, cr it's pretty crazy. And every time I think I get a, a call, I just realized this today, my videos go silent. So as soon as there's a call that comes in or a text message that comes in, um, I have these, this, cause I've been noticing that sometimes my videos go silent. I'm like, why? And I just figured it out today. It's something when these calls come in or when I get text messages. So if there was silence, I, you know, forgive me, but I'm just not understanding like what this guy, you know, our CEO, Adam Aaron is trying to do. I don't I don't get it. I don't understand it. 
you know, it's it's almost like, can I tell you what I feel? It's almost like he's completely forgetting about AMC, in my opinion, and he's just trying to diversify, like just try to find other opportunities. Like, you know, maybe I'll invest in Apple, you know, maybe I'll invest in like Tesla, <laughs> I'll invest in Microsoft. Like it just, it's, it's, it's like he's turning, he's turning his company almost kind of like into an, 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 an investment fund. Excuse my language here. I'm falling asleep here. I'm getting a little... I know I'm talking a little bit in like, uh, I sound like, what's his name? Uh, Stuttering John from Howard Stern. Kind of getting a little tired here. But anyway, it's like he's turning AMC into kind of like a like like a fund. Like, you know what I mean? Like he's, you know, what's the next thing he's going to do? Like, I mean, look, popcorn, okay, I get it. I see how it was related. I see the relation, you know. Obviously, popcorn is part of when you go to the movies, you buy concessions, you go to concessions, buy popcorn. So to put that in supermarkets, okay, I, I get it. I could see how that could do well. But gold, I, listen, again, I love, I own gold, just so that you understand. I, I, I'm not saying anything bad about gold. I love gold. I love silver. I love precious metals. But, but, but it's, we're not investing in AMC because of precious metals. A, a lot of us are investing in AMC you know, simply because of the Moaz, the, the short squeeze. Other, other, you know, people like me, besides the Moaz, I love the movie industry. As you know, I'm always quoting movies. I grew up with movies. I grew up going to AMC. So a part of me loves the stock. I love the stock. Just putting aside the Moaz. I know we're going to have the Moaz one day, you know, from, from my mouth to God's ears, you know. But I love the stock. But the thing is, I just think that he should be focusing more on you know bringing AMC kind of like into modern technology. That's that's my opinion. That's I don't know how you feel, but if I was the CEO of AMC, I would really. You want me to tell you the truth? I probably you're gonna get upset at me what I'm about to say. I would steer away from from movie theaters. I really would because I just feel like how how much long how much longer is it gonna last? I know you're gonna say. Oh, hey, Father, you know, there's nothing like going to the movies. And you're right. You're right. But we can't deny. Look at what happened to the music industry. Like, I'll give you a perfect look. You don't think it breaks my heart? Okay. Everything changed. You know, it used to be back in the day, you have a song on the radio. And then the next thing you know, you know, your, your CD comes out. And everybody's going to Tower Records. Remember Tower Records? Buying the CDs. And your CD goes gold. Your CD goes platinum, multi-platinum. And the money you, you could make in the music industry was absurd. It was amazing. All that's gone now. That's it. There is no more Tower Records. <laughs> you know what I mean? It started from that. Oh, man. What was that website? Napster. It all started with Napster, you know? And, and just that's it. And now the record companies kind of like are questioning why are we even staying in business anymore? It's like it really turned now to performances. Performances is what makes them money. Live performances. But then the Omnicron didn't didn't help musicians either. You know, we were out of work for like, forget about it. When the coronavirus first started in 2020, musicians were starving. It was crazy, man. And even the big musicians, I'm talking about the superstars. And now it's all starting to come back. You know, the concerts are coming back now. Billy Joel's back at Madison Square Garden. Um, but the thing is, it's just not the same in the music industry like it used to be, you know, in the 60s or the 70s and the 80s, probably ending in the 90s. And that's it. Now it's a whole new ball game. And I kind of like foresee that with movie theaters. I just think there's just too much technology available that this is not going to be a futuristic business going to the movie theaters. I'm sorry. I mean, you might say, why are you invested in AMC? Well, again, you got the short squeeze, right? Okay. I love movies. I love them. But this, see, it's not really me. Like, let me just explain to you. I love going to the movies. I happen to go to the movie theaters every single weekend. I really do. I love movies. But I don't know if the whole world agrees with me. You know, I think a lot of people, especially with all this crazy stuff happening in the in the world, like streaming, like Netflix is a monster, man. Netflix is a monster. And you know what's funny? You know how powerful the streaming industry is? Disney had its parks closed, right, during the coronavirus, was losing tremendous amounts of money. Trem all the employees were sent home, right? But Disney still kept doing well because of its streaming. Okay, so that's just my opinion on it. Like, I, if I was him, 
Look, I'm just saying if I was a CEO, I would be focusing on trying to create something better than Netflix, you know, AMC. That's what I would be doing. Tell me what you think.